Hello my crafty friends. This is Linda. Welcome to Lenny P's Place. Well today is um, my update for Roxy's Journal of Stitchery Volume 3 and the first prompt for February was a garden shed and so this is my garden shed. It's turned out to be a little bigger than I was planning but I think it's okay. I like it. Um, I put some little steps on there. Uh, I think by putting the brown there, it kind of makes it look like the steps, you know, it makes them look a little dimensional maybe, I hope. Um, and then I cut some little flowers from uh, some flower sack fabric that I had and uh, just I tacked those down in there with uh, a little French knot. Each one has a French knot. And then I just put a, a, a few tiny little stitches around uh, just to make sure that it was secure. The other thing that I have done was uh, use some cheesecloth down here. And I'm probably going to put some little flowers or something in there. And... I haven't decided yet about this side over here. I have some cheesecloth right here and I thought about just, you know, sticking some of that in there and just having some a grassy area over here on this side. Not that thick. I'd, you know, thin it out some. Probably like this down here. Um, and then I also thought um, just about having a big shrub there so I haven't decided I'm going to pretend this is like front porch <laughs> here and I'm going to put some flower pots right in here I've made my windows tall uh, high up because um, it's a greenhouse and or a garden shed and I just have little tiny windows at the top and so I'm probably I'm going to put some flowers here on each side and figure out what to do here. I'm thinking about I might go back um, and use put a scarecrow in there. Um, our prompt, our last, our second prompt, which was our last prompt for January, I think. No, it wasn't. I, well, I don't remember. Yeah, it was our first prompt for this month. Was uh, the vegetable garden. And you could put a scarecrow if, if you wanted to, but I chose not to because I, at the time I just, I didn't have time to put it in. But now I'm thinking I need to put one right here. So I might do a tiny little scarecrow right there. Um, I don't know if I'll get it done next week, but we can always go back and add things. So I'm pretty sure I'm going to add a scarecrow there. Um... And I need to be, do something down here. I need some grass or something here and here just to fill in a little bit. Just some, I don't know, something along the sides of the path. Um, so, yeah, that's where I'm at so far. Uh, my, my prompt is stopping here. And then I'll see what we have for uh, our first prompt for March. Oh my goodness, I can't believe it's March already. Where does the time go? They say it flies when you get older. Well, it sure is on uh, a fast speed for me. It's jetting past. Um, so anyway, yeah, that's where I'm at. And so, I'll be back. Um... Hopefully next Tuesday. I'm trying to do my my uh, videos for this on Tuesday, but I just had things come up and I just couldn't get to it. So I had to wait until today. And uh, so anyway, I will be back next Tuesday to show you my finished area for February. <laughs> I'm going to try to have it finished. Uh, maybe not the scarecrow, but I'll have the rest of my garden shed done and whatever I'm going to do down here. So, yeah, that's it for now. So, I hope you all 
uh, will stay well. Oh, and I want to thank you for stopping by. And I hope that you're all doing well, because I think I forgot to ask. How rude of me. I'm very sorry about that. Um, so anyway, I will uh, say goodbye for now. Be safe, be well, take care of yourselves, and I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.